And how was your weekend? We lost, you know, uh, right. which we've been doing a little bit of this season. But uh, it was an exciting time, mm. you know. It felt like a playoff game. I don't know if you're aware, Mr. Brady, uh, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, uh, returned to Titletown. So I, let's just clarify a little. Sure. Brady used to play for... Perfectly. For the New England Patriots. For yes. the Patriots, right? That's the nine Super Bowls, correct. Right. Fabulous. Yes. And now he plays for the... Another team down, um, you know, in the COVID hot spots. Uh, and uh, yeah, he unfortunately won another Super Bowl last year. So does that feel a little bit like, you know, the enemy? Like a hot dagger or... in my asshole? Yes, it feels exactly like that. And it has for a couple of years, so it's yeah. not been easy. But uh, yesterday felt good. A lot of promise uh, coming out of New England, Doctor. Maybe good, maybe kind of a passing of the baton. Almost. It would have been nice if uh, Big Kick Nick's ball went through the uprights at the end because then it would have been a passing of the time. Oh, right. I, I saw that. It yeah. said missed field goal. Yeah, you seem pretty excited about that. You should probably oh, just relax. Oh, well, I yeah. was just excited because I did research yeah. that. And so well, it, came it was 56 out. yards. I don't know if you ever kicked something before, but that's a very long distance. Unfortunately, it was just uh, two inches, uh, not enough, which is uh. also the name of these assholes' memoir. Uh, also, the push it whispers. You know, unfortunately, it, it seemed more like our running backs were all injured because we rushed for a total of eight yards on the game. I don't know if you know what eight yards look like. It's roughly the length of this room. That is not far. No, it's not very far at all. Again, it's roughly from here to there. So that's what we did. We rushed from right there to right there. Yeah, that's and, not um, even a tennis court. It's half a tennis court. No, it's not even. <laughs> I don't know how big a tennis court is. but I think it's about this size. It's like a more of a family court. I guess a little bit longer family courts because you get the seating Gosh. in the back. But You seem pretty calm for kind of oh, an upset sure. like this. Yeah, I mean, we lost, but I haven't felt, you know, this good about a loss since Jeffrey Epstein was murdered, you know? So it's like, you know, it, it's it's a, a growing stage, if right. you will. We're having growing pains. You know, we're one and three. We're probably the best one and three team in the NFL. Um, and, you know, sometimes you lose things, doctor. Right. right. You know? I lost a couple cats. Sure. Never I lost Maureen. Right. And uh, a tooth, you know, and a football game. I was wondering about that. I'll tell you this much, Doctor. Uh, a Sunday fall evening in New England is a perfect time to fight Floridians in a parking lot. So, yeah, it was a rough day, mm. you know, lost a tooth, lost a game. But uh, it's how you bounce back. And, fighting uh, I Floridians? Think, I think uh, you look like you've just been fighting fluoride. That's a good one, asshole. Uh, unlike uh, the Indianapolis folk here, I do brush my teeth. I just also drink 15 beers uh, in the second half. And, uh, you know, it's a slick game. Like you said, piss and rain and uh, those concrete steps. Woo, doggy. Right. Now, how did you enjoy the game? Uh, did you do something fun? Oh, sure. I was, I was at the game, obviously, you know. And uh, I met Ty Law, not to brag. Absolutely. He was uh, pipping some vodka that he was selling. I don't know what it's called. Ty Lodka, maybe. That would be a fun name. Actually, I do like that. I'm not really a marketing guy, but, you know, I should probably call him and tell him that, actually. Now, were there any uh, hard feelings between Tom Brady and his old coach? Listen, they had a very nice moment at, uh, at the end of the game where they embraced a very, a very brief one. You know, kind of reminded me of being a kid and getting a quick, uh, you know, Half a second hug from your dad. You know, you feel good about yourself. I love to hear about these, I mean, titans of sport showing how they really feel on the field. I, I think uh, where we're at as far as the emotion and the touching is, is pretty solid. Uh -huh. You know, I'm just glad that Brady didn't, you know, kiss coach on the lips, uh, you know. And so that's a victory. You know, nobody got kissed on the lips and it was a good brief hug like my old dad. You keep bringing up your father. Well. Is there something there? Uh, no, he hasn't been there for about 26 years. This video brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Use promo code FITZY for a free $10 when you sign up and deposit $10 or more.